Hello, good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session, Monday the 24th of September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so European markets are down uh, on the back of uh, reports over the weekend that uh, China has cancelled trade talks. Uh, not only have they cancelled trade talks, they're also appealing against the decision with regards to sanctions on its military. Uh, given their potential, uh, obviously, uh, supply to Russia. Uh, also, ads targeting Trump. Uh, they've taken out, I think, four or five pages in Iowa, uh, where farmers with low IQs uh, are obviously uh, embracing Mr. Trump's theory that uh, by tariffs and uh, obviously uh, boycotting China, etc., will certainly work, which unfortunately it doesn't, I'm afraid. Um, so, obviously, Chinese uh, have taken the imperative upon themselves to educate such, such people uh, with low IQs, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I mean, the Americans are, aren't they, unfortunately? Yeah, it's all that fluoride, I blame. Anyway, but that's the status quo. So educating them, obviously, ratcheting up trade tensions and obviously trade war concerns as well. So again, that certainly is risk negative. OPEC certainly didn't wilt with Mr. Trump's uh, uh, bickering again. Uh, obviously, he's been complaining like a little baby, isn't he? Hence, baby Trump uh, being uh, flew in, uh, being flown in uh, in London recently. Uh, so again, uh, he's crying, complaining about oil prices being high. Obviously, we all know oil prices equals... Uh, inflation equals uh, higher interest rates and uh, but whilst the Fed obviously is on, on course to raise rates so he's been quite vocal there uh, again that will be a cause for concern for equity markets but either way commodities should certainly benefit from that hence the reason why the FTSE certainly has has, has taken off a lot of the uh, the actual negative uh, bias there. Uh, Nowotny did say that he was hawkish, he wanted uh, the exit of QE sooner again that certainly is supporting the euro this morning so that's that US euro trade that I missed out on uh, antitrust proceedings versus Google and Facebook. Again, that's something for the U.S. equities to to discuss now. Uh, economic data, CBI trends orders minus one versus four for the U.K. Okay, uh, Brexit obviously concerns remain with regards to this May check checkers plan in in in, in, in tatters. So um, and again, uh, uh, bickering internally as well within our own party. German IFO business certainly came in stronger than expected, so that's certainly helping European equities to that extent. Okay, so that's the status quo, folks. Uh, that's the status quo. China. Trade war concerns remain centre stage. Okay, let's see exactly what's going on in terms of the technical picture. Then, uh, from my perspective, you're looking at a potential HNS formation here now. As you can see, the uh, your German DAX certainly has gap lower. Okay, so there's your unfilled gap. Uh, obviously, it's failed to close that gap. I'm looking for a potential right shoulder. There's your head, left shoulder. Okay, there's your head. Obviously, looking for a right shoulder, and then obviously looking to flush lower. Okay, so take that into consideration now. In terms of the French CAC, again, this is another index I'm looking to potentially short here now. Stop loss above the, the previous high at 7499 and obviously looking for it to flush all the way down to 5450. Okay, uh, again, largest picture of things you've got the key resistance here now at around the 5500, so you're not expecting that to break. So take that into consideration too. In terms of the FTSE 100, again, trading sideways, uh, given the fact that sterling has fallen quite so drastically, uh, I think the latest. Uh, tweet that I've recently retweeted is the um, sterling trade weighted index falls 1% to 77.97 biggest daily drop in more than seven months uh, again it shows that the uh, UK really especially uh, uh, conservative uh, politics certainly is uh, has been lost for quite some time they are a confused bunch they've got no idea what they're doing really they've got a leader who's even more confused uh, especially given her dance in Africa recently I mean it's just uh, really out of touch with uh, with the with the individuals in this country really it's uh, living a totally different parallel universe either way that's the status quo we just have to deal with it as traders so we can complain and bicker all we want uh it, well not that the, the status doesn't change that's basically what we have to deal with and trade around that as well okay so the footsie at the moment uh key resistance 7493 hasn't broken through that given the fact that trade war concerns are again remain versus china you've got a bearish for engulfing candle here as well uh, again looking for a potential bear flag move lower so Potential retest of the lows, okay, or we've obviously continued high in the back of a weaker GBP, and oil prices certainly supporting the FTSE as well. Okay, that's a good summation, really, of European markets. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com, take advantage of the bonus, and be sure to visit uh, TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.